Hello everyone, and welcome back to Raise Aerospace and Kerbal Space Program 2, where we continue construction of our lace station. We have two modules on their way out to Joule. It seems like we don't have any maneuver nodes on the map here, but let me just double check, because I've done Jupiter missions in Realism Overhaul uh, since I last recorded a video in KSB2, and my mind is totally confused between the Joule missions and the Jupiter missions. So let's take a look. We've got this mission that's already... Oh, this mission is... Oh, no, I wasn't focused on it. This mission, which is already out of Kerbin SOI, and then this mission, which is still in Kerbin SOI on its way out. Uh, so let's just check on this one and see if it explodes. Okay, it seems intact. We do have a mid-course correction here. And so we don't see the mid-course corrections in the tracking station, which is not helpful. But this in 239 days. Let me check on the other one. Um, no, this must be the... It says the same time and same delta V, so... Oh! Okay, that's creepy. That, that's not... That's not unusual at all. It showed the first one that I went to initially. And then it switched to this one. Initially it was the first one that I had switched to. And it showed me those numbers and that vessel. And then and then it snapped to this one. Oh, joy. <laughs> uh, do we have fuel on here? This is a good question, I suppose. Let's just make sure. It seems that way. Okay, so that means the other one is the one that we need to pay attention for to first, because it's notice coming up first. Let's try this again, tracking station. Okay, it's it's with the right one immediately this time. Okay. Right, let's get on to the make course correction then. That's amazing how different the tracks are, isn't it? Okay, now we have ignition and it's showing proper things down there. Starting a little bit early here. Hopefully the little Delta V tape is going to be correct. Maybe. For once. Okay. Um, we'll just fix that once we get into Jewel SOI, I think. So this is okay. We can make a maneuver on this orbit here. But we can't make a maneuver on the... Oh, wait. Nope. Yeah. Uh, nothing in Jupiter SOI. We can't. Oh, it's not Jupiter. Jewel. Jewel SOI, like I said. Alright, let me... Should I try and jump over there from this view? Sure, why not? Okay, it's still got this maneuver node. Okay, igniting early because I'm gonna use lower thrust. Okay, the rest we will do once we get there. Okay, so here entering SOI, it doesn't tell me when, and it doesn't tell me when for the other one. So we're just going to watch here and see when it happens. It might pop up with a message, but I wish it'd give us a time. You know, a T minus on that would be helpful. It looks like this one is going to arrive first. Okay. Let us make a correction. There's a Leif encounter here, but it's not doing anything yet. Let's see. I mean, that's capture, but it's way too high. I mean, way too inclined. I think any approach to Leif right now is going to be super inclined. I think we can probably get a flatter capture from Tylo in this case. And with the gizmo the way it is, I can't really pull this handlebar very well. While still seeing what the result is. Oh, this is so complicated. We've got a Leaf encounter, we've got a Tylo encounter, and nothing is actually bringing us into orbit. I think I'm just going to go ahead and let Jewel do the trick. So yeah, uh, well, I don't know how much it's going to cost there, but we're going to do this 55 meter per second burn first. 
Okay, ignition. Oh, it's not tracking it because of the next maneuver. I hate that. Okay, where's, where's the other maneuver? No, don't destroy our station. I wanted to get rid of that other maneuver, but I guess I can't. Uh, okay, the station icon is huge and getting in the way of that other maneuver, so... Right, well, I'll try to match orbits anyway. All we really have to do is go close into Jewel, so I can just go with that. We can just get rid of this. Well, let's go ahead. Uh, 47 days, though. The other mission might come in by then. Let's keep an eye on that. Doesn't seem like it's arriving yet. Seems like that point is when it arrives into Jewel SOI. Okay, there's Jewel. Whoa. Formidable. Okay, capture burn. Oh, it stopped showing me my apple apps there. Um I wanted to see what that was gonna be, but it ran out of digits I guess. Okay, there we go. And it doesn't show the number of days here. That's sort of important since we have another mission coming in. It's better to keep it high, but I think we have the Delta V, so... Uh, probably we're going to have to deal with the other mission before we even get to this. I have to keep in mind 30 days. Well, there's an encounter there. It's not a good encounter. If we... If I do a maneuver ahead, it's not going to work out, so... Yeah, the descending node is really close to Jewel, so that's not good. I think we'll boost up and then just try it on the next node. So, uh, yeah, there's a Leaf Encounter here, and it brings us down. That's nice of it. That looks pretty good. So in 31 days we'll do this maneuver to boost up to Lathe Orbit. But, um, well, we've got the other mission to think about. Let's just go check on it. Let me save. <laughs> okay, having saved, let me go control. Uh, no, th uh, it's the wrong one. Maybe it'll jump to the... oh, uh, wait, home? Oh, okay. Uh, it was just focused on the other one. Okay, this is getting in when? I can't tell. It doesn't have the time for the, uh, for the entry. So, um, we have to keep track. 31 days is when the other thing has to happen. We'll get in just before we have to deal with the other mission. Okay. Probably we should just go with the same strategy as the other one. Yeah, we'll just go with the same strategy, but this time I'm going to make it easy on myself and make sure that the descending or ascending node will be at Apoapsis. I think that's what that dive line is trying to tell me. Okay, ignition. Uh-oh. Uh, hold on there, don't move with it. Uh, well... I don't know where the atmosphere of Jewel is. Let's try a thousand kilometers and see how that goes. So then we're going to capture in 52 days. The ascending node isn't quite where I wanted it to be, but it's better than the other mission. Okay, 280 to capture. But let's go back to the other mission, which is reaching its apoapsis. To be honest, uh, the hopping back and forth has been relatively alright. The interesting part is going to be when we try to dock. <laughs> well, we'll just try to match orbits. The ascending node's over here. It's not great, but it's better than it was before. Well, impacting is persuasive. Okay, maybe now I can see the node and Leith at the same time. Right. They're going in, so that's the out one. They were going around this way. Clockwise, which probably is not right. 
I mean, I've targeted the station, but it's not showing me any indication of our relative inclination, I guess because we haven't made orbit around Leif yet. So we'll try that. That looks pretty good for a correction. 404 though, it's expensive, but it'll be worth it. So that's in 31 days. I'm going to save this, and then we'll see about the other mission. don't remember what kind of timing we have with the other mission. Let's see. Not focus, control. 47 days. So we could probably do everything with the mission we have there first. Maybe. 47 days. Yeah, okay. Focus and control. Hopefully nothing important has changed. There's Leif, there's Jewel, and we're turning. Oh, this seems like a good screenshot sort of thing. But it's still not tracking the burn. Did I do another... I didn't plot another burn. I don't know why it's not tracking this burn. Okay, uh, well I think I'm pretty satisfied with that. That's okay. So, it's not letting me create a maneuver inside Leith SOI. Uh, nope. I can see the periapsis, but I can't click this line. Well, anyway, all we have to do is get there. Oh, good. The inclination says 0.1 degrees. It looked more than that. It looked like more than that. But, okay. Okay, retrograde. Dual. Leith. How much is it going to cost to capture? I wasn't able to plot ahead of time. We're at 2,887 meters per second. So maybe a thousand or something like that. I forget what the orbital velocity around Leith is. Whatever it is, we should have it. Pull for us this time. Orbit curving. Okay, we have the initial semblance of encounter nodes. Uh, but we're deviating from retrograde. Why are we deviating from retrograde? Game? Get back. Ah, went too far. RCS. Oh, that's good. All right. Less than a kilometer. Okay, let's see what happens. We have to dock and everything. Oh, there it is. All right, let's get started. It's gonna be a trick to dock this thing. Let me just check that it's um, docking acquiring forces. Let's just say three percent. Oh, zero, zero, maybe? I wanted one, but it doesn't let me get one. Two? No, it doesn't let me get two. See, there are zero, ten, twenty... What did they even have the other numbers there for? Oh, I went to the wrong side there. Oh, in the dark. As is so often the case for my station dockings. Well, I'm certainly not going to time warp. We're just going to wait and coast in. Okay, we're coming alongside here. And let's... Oop. And... Alright, that's all I want to do with the engine. And since we are done with the engine, I'm going to transfer resources now before we have way too many hydrogen tanks. Um, let's... Okay, right. So, yeah, we're gonna top off the bottom one, if I can select any of them. Um, it's not letting me... Okay, now it's got them. <laughs> yeah, well, two of them. Come on, come on. Okay. Out, out, out. Mm. Alright. So, yeah, then we'll top off the bottom tank so that the little tug portion can get back home. And we'll have its full fuel. Well, anyway, we can't verify like that, but I'm gonna trust that it got topped off. 
uh, that it is the one that is full. Okay. Now... I don't know about the other thing. It is rotating. Now well, we've been here before. And it stopped rotating. Okay. You just have to not rotate. That's all I want from you. Uh, no, it's rotating the other way now. <laughs> I think I want the other module to dock here. So we'll have it like that. And hope that it can stay still. I don't know if I can even see the docking port, much less select it. But let's point to target. Hopefully dawn will occur soon. Gonna have it hold steady. Let me see now. Try to orient this properly. Okay, I think I'm getting the vector correct. Yep, we're moving towards it. That's all I want. But we haven't selected the docking port yet. Gotta remember that. Okay, stop it, stop it, stop it. Okay, there's the sun. Looking good, though. Oh, there we go. Docking acquiring force. Low. Not zero. Ten. Set as target. Okay. The uh, prograde vector is jittery for some reason. Why? I think it's jumping between the vessel location relative to the vessel location and relative to the docking port location. I'm not sure. I'm gonna save. Okay, we have saved. And we are closing in. Let's try and go forward a little bit faster. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, okay, they connected, and they didn't kill each other. It took us, uh, it required us to get really close to it, but... As opposed to the sudden docking from a distance kind of thing that happens. So, this is good. Uh, it looks good. It's looking good. Uh, I plan to put the other one on this side. Let's save, and then we're going to bring the other one in. Let's hope it is just as successful. Okay, I'm just gonna jump to it like this. Control. Hope I didn't do something horrible to the station like that. It's still there. Stationary, if you will. I mean, I guess they kept all the atmosphere heights the same as in KSP-1. In which case, obviously, this is not a problem. But I'm not sure about that. Okay, starting our retro burn here. And it won't keep track of it, but we can just go with the apoapsis. I don't know why it's not keeping track of it anymore, but maybe it's safer that way. Okay, we've captured. Let me just see where we're at there. Okay. And maybe just a little bit more. For timing's sake. Alright. Okay, let's get rid of this. At the ascending node, we'll correct the inclination. This has less delta V than the other mission, though. Okay. Alright. Inclination correction. Okay, point one is good, and then over to Apoapsis. I'm not even going to plot them out. I'm just going to do them. I'm going to boost up to Lathe Orbit here. Now there's just one tangency point and an encounter. Okay. No, okay, turn off RCS for a sec. That is the one we come in with. Oh shoot. 
Ah. Okay, it's too touchy. <laughs> Uh, we'll have to get closer to adjust that, I think. Alright, but we have an encounter. And it's sort of in an awkward position. It's over here, rather than there. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Oh, there's a Tylo encounter there that we don't want, but we should be able to avoid it. Okay, that's the tangency I want. Okay, periapsis, and we are retrograde already. Let us pull the orbit down, see if we can get a nice encounter. Uh, it's not changing 1A and 1B though. That's probably because of Tylo. Doing this without Leif's help is annoying. But we're doing it because Tylo is interfering. Okay, finally we got 2A and 2B here. Well, but it's not gonna show me what's happening with 2A and 2B, but that's about the right distance from target, so maybe that's okay. We have to pass 1A and 1B first. Uh, well, that's a collision. Um, right, well, we'll sort that out once we get closer. It's costing a bundle to do this, though. Oh no, whatever we did, we did the wrong thing. Oh gosh. Yes, smacking into it is better. Um, let me just plot something. Maybe it's a radial still. I thought from out here it wouldn't be a radial burn, but... Then again, it's showing zero meters per second changes our orbit from that to that already, so... Okay, but it's fixed it. No, it still shows us losing our encounter. Um, I guess I'll try and go there and see what happens. I'll just do the radial burn inside the SOI. But we're a bit tight on the Delta V right now. I mean, considering all the things we need to do. Okay, definitely crashing into the surface. Definitely want to be radial out. We do want combined 12 as our target. Don't know our rel relative inclination, but it doesn't seem like much. Oh shoot, it's wandering. Um, but it, it's supposed to be radial out, so... Yeah, that's not doing what I want it to do, is it? No. That's not the radial I want. It's a rare case. Normally it's radial, but we're barely, we're like not really even in, uh, we're captured, so I mean, it's it's weird. We're, we're coming in on a, on a entry trajectory, but we end up being captured after this prograde burn. So it's, yeah, it's a weird situation. I guess this is the situation where instead of radial, you do prograde. To boost your orbit like this. Okay, well. I'll wait until our ascending node there. Lathe from a distance. Okay, 0, 0.0. I think I'd want to boost that periapsis up a tad. Okay, just one tangency. Let's go. Just round the edge of Lathe SOI here. <laughs> Very interesting. Okay, retro in order to get our encounter. But we now we have less than the full tank for the return pod. Uh, engine return pod. Okay, one kilometer there. Still have 236 meters per second to do though. So yeah, we're probably not going to bring back the engine pod off of this one. And we are no longer going to do any time warping.
Okay, let's not crash into it though. Okay, that's it for the main engine. I guess we'll get what fuel we have into the back tank. Yeah, we didn't have an extra tank on this one since it came with that module. It's the small one, so out, 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 in. Adjust flow rates, in. Yeah, I don't know if that's got to be enough for it to come back. But okay, make sure we're controlling from here. I can't see whether we're on the correct side or not. Uh, turn towards the target. Um, maybe I should have kept the orientation. I think we need to dock on this side. Oh, and we can set that as a target. Okay, we do have some light. Sort of figure our way around this. I'm not moving the station at this point. We're just gonna let it sit there. This is how it looks as we work our way around. Unset, set. And let's dump the docking acquiring force. Stin seemed to work pretty well last time. Okay, well, oh no, that's too much, too much. Okay, no time warping. We wait. But yeah, it really likes to pitch up for some reason. We could relocate the back end to that location and then it could probably push the station, though the balance might not be quite right. Probably one side would still be heavier than the other side somehow. So, I mean, you do have the balance all tanks option. I haven't tried that yet, but that would be a situation where we would. Looks pretty good. Very much in line and modest approach. You really can't ask for too much more in that game. Okay, we have connected. All right, not no, definitely not revert to launch. God, probably somebody's got to hit revert to launch when they just want to close that thing. Um, there we have it. That's our life station so far. I'm not gonna bring the modules back, the engine modules back this time, and we're short of fuel in one of them. We'll have to see. Let's just get the obligatory screenshot. No, oh, maybe this one's better. Well, for once, KSP2 has blessed me with a glitchless episode. This is amazing. Uh, well, uh, unless I've forgotten something. Anyway, no critical glitches. Let's give it credit. And we have our intended station as it is together, and we have plenty of room to expand further, and I intend to do so until something breaks. So the key is just not time warping close to anything. That seems to be the most critical thing. So for now, we'll keep this as it is, and I'll make sure to save, and I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.